Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. The name's Gahenga, the game's Pokemon Duel. I didn't have time to experiment with anything new. Timed boosters are only giving me crap, as you can see, so... Let's just jump straight into a ranked match and maybe get ourselves a uh, timed booster to actually time out before, <laughs> before I go to work. I'm actually already late, so this should be quick. I don't know, I haven't had time to play at all, like, except maybe the bug bot win, the dark bot, which I don't even think it was a dark bot, I think it was a legit player and I haven't played ranked since more than 24 hours, so, I don't know. There we go, we have a Manaphy deck with uh, Gyarados and Greninja and Empoleon. So, I think <clears throat> it would be very well advised to go with the Genesec towards that little uh, Magikarp straight away. If that doesn't happen, uh, I might risk it and go for the Greninja without the charge. I mean, I don't have much to go with, right? I have just a little to go with. Let's check the plates. The Greninja will be deployed defensively. That is great. Hurdle Jump, Gold Block, Steel Energy, and Double Chance. Okay, since that is deployed defensively, let's go and deploy some of our own Pokemon defensively. And let's see, I want that Magikarp to be deployed on the field. Not Dux, A. Yeah. Not anything but the Magikarp. Let's go. Deploy me the Carp. You see my drive. I think you won't have it out soon. But um, if I'm just lucky enough to get that Magikarp out of the way, that'd be great for me to continue on with the game in general. So, there we see some uh, defensive maneuvers by the enemy, not deploying the one Pokemon that we want on the field for now, but that still could be done anytime later. I believe that he wants to have it with the Manaphy or whatnot, so let's just go straight out here and maybe even challenge the Manaphy if it pops on the field. That's basically what I wanted to do. But I don't believe that they will want to challenge and uh, lose the mana fee, if at all uh, possible. So there should probably either the Greninja or the other dude be defending against that uh, Genesect. Yeah, I wouldn't expect anything. So this is now almost unkillable. Let's take let's take the spot here. And continue advancing on to get to the goal. Greninja surround would happen if I go to the right. If I go to the left and attack the Greninja, I have a better chance. So, I just for now sit there. Maybe the enemy wants to go aggressive on his own. Well, then I have a huge advantage. But there we go, there's not gonna be anything. Mm. Let's go double chance this and try and kill the Greninja. There's a high chance of us just straight out knocking it out. If we roll a damaging attack. No, there's gonna be a dodge towards a miss. No need to respin. Just gonna ignore that. And move on to advance towards that freaking Manaphy. Kill all Manaphys, it's leveled up. So it will probably kill my not a grass knot if that happens to, to happen. So I'm just gonna be going here, ending my turn. I do not have a gold block, so I will need to be a little more careful with that Heatron. I think I will screw this over because I will take it to the last minute to defend against a Heatron and Heatron will roll a magma slide and win. Like watch this happen. Watch it happen. There should be a gold block by something. Gold block by Empoleon. Okay. I think I want to risk this. I think I want to risk this and go all in. Nope, not gonna happen. And now I'm gonna have to deal with the Heatron, which sucks big time. Okay, well, I have my own Heatron who is a little bit chain leveled here. Just maybe I get a lucky roll on that and kill it off. 
Oh well. I still have the max revive, but if he's like next to the gold, there's no point in doing that because the hurdle jump would just happen. So let's straight out go defensively on this and block our goal. I mean, since the enemy didn't take the chance to straight out uh, win or lose after one, after one, okay, there's still energy coming through, wow. That gives him the Eid right there. Just for the Empoleon, just for the Heatron, he has the still energy. That is actually insane, wow. But all right, all right, my guess. Roll a dodge, ah, oh, cool. It's gonna be a splash towards the water shuriken, okay. Maybe, just maybe, I should go ahead and try and banish that uh, Greninja. I mean, the Manaphy is on the field, but the Gyarados is evolved right about now, so let's go and risk this one. Just, just to be like, I don't know. Greninja can still roll a dodge as Greninjas love to do, but yeah. It's gonna be a dodge, no need to respin. The second dodge as Greninja rolls against me, which sucks. Could potentially fly away, but hey, they decided not to. Not something I was uh, in charge of, so whatever. My next turn will be deploying the Empoleon defensively so that Heatran cannot kill everything or max reviving the Verizian and going for a Dux A. There's gonna be a double chance towards a magma sliding machine. Ooh, this could be deadly. Okay, I rolled the magma slide, which is actually great. Gonna be going right here. Ending my turn. And probably max reviving next turn, the Verizian to surround. Nope, gonna just straight out lose the Greninja, which is totally fine. I don't mind the loss of the Greninja because I like save my coal right there. But I need to take some Pokemon out of the enemy, because so far he's been on the aggressive. Losing the time, making the correct plays and whatnot, but uh... A missed words in dimensional slip. Do you want me to respin? Respin, no problem. Techno Blast, it's gonna make that Deoxys A form. Go to bed, I'm gonna be advancing right here. Nothing he can actually stop me advancing with except maybe the Greninja. Which I would just attack and kill. Or at least try to kill. You know. Let's just take the point here and kill the Manaphy. If I can kill the Manaphy, that'd be great. Nope. OMG. This is so ridiculous. Come on, game. Like, I mean, wow. Wow. It's like I'm... St I'm... I'm scaling quick attack all the time. This is so, so often happening. This is just crazy. Holy smoke. Okay, never mind that. Let's attack the Greninja. Let's roll a 30 here with the Aqua Jet. No? Oh. <laughs> I'm trolling now. Okay, I'm trolling. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Still have the Max Revive. I probably will use it on the Subtile once the Ducks A keeps on advancing, if he does. There's gonna be an attack on the Empoleon. I hope it will freeze. Nope. Hydro Pump. No need for you to make me risk it there, buddy. Let's go a little bit here. And force either the, the defense of the Gyarados or another threat towards the Manaphy. But I need some more Pokemon on the field. There we go. The defense of the Gyarados will come over. That's great. 70 toward guys. Team. He will be frozen. Which is not relevant right about here because it's his territory. That Pokemon will be defrosted really soon. And the Deoxy can come onto the field and defrost that at the same time. So what I can hope here again for the Verizian Cheese to just straight out win. There we go, defrosted. The Verizian going away. We'll be deploying the Greninja defensively next turn. And I can see what maybe can happen here. Oh, okay, that can happen. Let's get the Greninja out of there. And I'm pretty happy with the Verizon being standing alone there. I don't mind that. 
I mean, I'd rather kill that freaking Napoleon. It's gonna be another miss. Wow, the, the rolls of the enemy are pretty crazy of that Dax. He's like, I don't want to roll anything right this game. But come on, every other roll, it was in, in the enemy's favor anyway. I mean, I've cycled my Pokemon like twice so far, so... I deserve this! <laughs> what time is it? I need to run, OMG. Come on, roll the purple! Come on, you're having like a half will purple. Why don't you roll the purple so I can get a double kill? <laughs> That'd be funny. Let's get aggressive here. I think I might regret it if that Magma Slider advances on my Magma Slider with the Steel Energy. My chain levels don't matter. So there will be an attack on the Greninja. Mm, my Greninja doesn't want to roll a dodge, sadly enough. I will be standing right here then. So he cannot reach me to kick me out from the point right there. And if he does advance and doesn't kill me, I can take the point. There we go. They advance towards the Heatron, as predicted. Magma Slide, no. Okay, now we're screwed. Totally and indefinitely screwed. If I don't hit a stealth hit or straight out kill, it's over. And I don't think I will any hit any of that. Come on. Oh, I will. Wow. What? What? Are you sure? Are you serious? Oh, wow. So strong. I didn't expect this to happen, quite honestly, but there's going to be another attack. And there's going to be another stealth hit. And I'm not going to be taking it. But I am going to be deploying the heat train a little closer. So he doesn't have a chance to slide me at all. Which is great. Then I think I need to max revive something. And send it towards the way of the... Send it towards the way of the Gyarados. And start killing stuff. Let's go, Max Revive, Grinning Juice, and send it up there. I think I'm pretty safe with those two. I don't think Heatran could possibly kill both of them at the same time completely off. So, hmm. You never know, of course, right? But I mean, come on. What are the chances of both of them dying? Let's attack here and see what we can get on the Gyarados. The Manaphy is being protected very well. The, oh, the miss again, yay. The, the dodge and the Greninja though to forbid him from going flying, as I would fear he would, was actually epic. So what I need to do here is actually block the entry. My Sceptile needs to survive one more round with that Magma Sliding Machine. Yep, yep, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So far, so good, okay. Let's block with the Greninja here. I'm doing super fine right about now. Block with the Greninja. The one attack that they can do is with the Empoleon towards the Verizon at the specific moment in time. And that's basically it before long. Okay, it's gonna be Aqua Jet towards Solar Justice. The lack of the roll coming my way. Totally, totally... Well played. I will win with the Genesect because he was able to not do anything in that corner, but be a pain in the, in the back towards the enemy. Well, GG name I cannot pronounce. You got some rolls in your favor in the beginning of the match. I got all the rolls in my favor at the end of the match. And I'm going to get myself the Rainbow Time Booster, which I guarantee will be crap. And at this specific note, I will end this video because I legitimately am super late. So I hope you enjoyed it. And as always... Have a nice day.